Hi guys, I have a new unboxing video for you. Uh, I have been excited about this. I don't know if I should be or not. This was a pre-order I found on Amazon back in February. And it just came delivered today. You want to see what it is? It's the Bob Ross Oracle. Look at that. Actually, um. Bought two of them because my daughter loves Bob Ross, so I'm going to have a Christmas gift for her. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. The Bob Ross Oracle, a happy little decking guidebook. There's our side, and then here's our backwards. I, iconic painter Bob Ross offers inspiration for all of life's happy accidents in this Oracle decking guidebook. Deck includes a set of fourly, brightly illustrated oracle cards, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what we've got. Oh, isn't that a lovely little book? Let's look at this here. I have a feeling it's in color. What do you think? I was right. Huh? Oh, look, this is, this is quite lovely. Look how nice. Oh, hi, Bob. Now, what is what was the squirrel's name? Do you remember? I don't remember. Let me know if you remember in the comments down below. Okay, so I'm impressed with that. This is a lovely box. I like the way that they have his artwork here also. Okay, let's put that aside. And let's do this here. Okay. There we go. Pull this off. I'm kind of excited. I've been waiting for these for a while. All right, well, let's start with the back of the card. Look at that. Look at that. What do you think? How pretty, huh? How pretty. Okay. What we have here is the Almighty Mountain. And uh, this is, it feels like just a regular deck of cards, not necessarily thick and not too thin or weak either. So, you know, just your average set here. Let's zoom in a little bit here for you though. Okay. All right, so this is the Almighty Mountain. And they're, uh, they're not actual his artworks. I was hoping it might actually be his paintings, but you never know, they could be copyright laws on that stuff. You know, but here's Bob the Animal Lover holding a blue jay. And the artist, this one is obviously stating the obvious, but still, I mean, that's like an infamous picture, isn't it? The bird, that's another blue jay there. I'd be curious to see how these are interpreted in the book. The blank canvas, also that's new beginnings, right? And it's orange, so if they're using color play, new beginnings with a passion. And then the color, it's seeing, maybe it's seeing all the different colors and how you can blend them together, right? Right? <laughs> The Crooked Trunk. The Darkness. That's not very dark for a dark image though, isn't it? Which is kind of nice because, like, doesn't he call it? He calls it a happy little deck, so even the dark is happy. The Dead Tree. Still a significant part in the landscape. The Dreamer. Wondering what he should paint next or if he really wants to put that big tree in there or not. <laughs> but, you know, it's a color play, too. The dreamer, he's got the bright yellow, the sunshine, and the happy thoughts going in here. The drill sergeant. For those of you who don't know, Bob Ross served many, many years in one of the services. Um, I don't recall which, maybe the Army, but many years up in Alaska, which is what inspired his artwork. And then here's the easel. So maybe that would be, you know, like your eight of pentacles or something like that. Putting the hard work in, you know, having your workspace kind of a card. Hmm. These are, and this is just me guessing here because I haven't studied it with this. So let's see, let's see if I'm close. Or throw your guesses down in the comments and let me know what you think some of these interpretations are. And then we can check back in the book later. Oh, you know, my first thing I thought was the orb. Fluffy little clouds. Oh, Mike, the orb. The orb made the Bob deck. <laughs> I 
love that. <laughs> and then, oh, this is the friend. Oh, look at the loving looks in his eyes and how the squirrel turns his back to it. <laughs> the hair. I don't know if you guys know the hair story. Bob does not have curly hair. He had a fro done once and he it ended up catching on and he hated it and people associated it with him. All he wanted was his straight hair. Go and Google it. You can see pictures of him with straight hair. The happy guru. Yes, he was that, wasn't he? He was good for that. Happy little accidents. Yeah, we've all, if you've been an artist, we've all dripped our paints before and we've all had mistakes in our own life. So all we do is, you know, wave our magic brush and things will get better. The happy little tree. See, the sun is shining in there. The highlights. This is probably focusing on your accomplishments. The lake. It's a frozen lake, though. And mountains are challenges. But you have security and safety down here. You have a home to go to, so you have protection. The landscape. Yeah, I'll say this, I really like the colors they chose. I, I really do, I'm really enjoying this deck so far. Uh, the Lazy River. Mm -hmm. Time to relax. The Masterpiece. This would probably be like your Ten of Pentacles or something like that, or like a culmination of everything, your Masterpiece. The Meadow. natural world the colors with the darkness right the ocean well we know that has something to do with your emotions there right and probably you have the waves coming in so you have some stillness as it settles and you know it's it's balancing your emotions right i'm guessing i'm a guesser on this i don't know i'm not I, you know, I haven't done many, uh, you know, unboxings like this. So, you know, this is really kind of my, I think it's my second one, really. Because I did the Britney Spears one, too, which was a laugh through for me. Uh, the old cabin. They, yeah, see, this is a nostalgic or something almost. You're reflecting on the past. You know, it's got all the sepia tones in it. You know, it's not bright and every, you know, vivid. So it's like looking backwards as opposed to looking forwards with cards tend to be brighter. And the paint, all the different colors you can blend to enhance your life. The palette, or palette. <laughs> okay, like I'm curious to read these two in the book and see what the difference is. Yes. What's that face? What's that face all about, Bob? <laughs> the rebel. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I never thought of him as a rebel, but, you know, maybe I need to watch a few more uh, videos. <laughs> oh, let's see. The snow. The squirrel. The survivor. Hmm. That's that's that could be a very deep card if you know his history. Netflix had a documentary on him, and it's if you, if you don't want your image of him spoiled, don't watch it. The talent. Did you know when Bob made his show his paintings, he did three or four practice ones against a clock. So when it came down to the actual filming, he knew what to do. The teacher, he had all of his art schools and his son does teaching. So it's almost like the guru. Was there a guru card? The two inch brush. See the forest within the trees? Is that one of these kind of things? Don't get caught up in the details. Wow, the voice. 
it's all spectrum of colors there, doesn't it? And the final called the card, the waterfall. I don't know, dudes. I, I'm really, I, I like this deck more than I thought of. I thought it might be a little goofy, but you know, I really, you know, it could be a very, very good, you know, maybe complimentary deck with a tarot reading or a clarifier cards or however you choose to use it. These are really, really nice cards. I'm really excited I got these. So uh, it won't be long until I upload these. So you'll see the 4K version of it, uh, just card by card too. So you can study them maybe a little bit longer. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye, Bob.